nobody is going to be putting up with this. Nobody is going to be listening or coming to New York anymore. Businesses are going to be fleeing because people are treated so badly. It's got to be the most unfriendly place to do business, and that's why businesses are leaving and people are leaving as migrants come in and take over our parks and our schools and everything else. Aside from the ramblings from a delusional old man, Donald Trump hates New York, which... Of course, New York City is where Donald Trump was, was raised, right? And he turned out great. Yet New York is a state that Donald Trump statistically has little chance to win, you know? Who says you can't go home again? <laughs> Apparently, 20 million people. Comedian Jim Gaffigan is quick to remind him of. One thing I can promise you this, I will always tell you the truth. The Washington Post and other fact checkers have found that Donald Trump tells more lies and falsehoods than any president in either party in history. The count is over 20,000. And by the way, this video was published by Now This Impact almost four years ago. Considering the time frame, it's probably double that number, if not more. My beautiful wife, Jeannie, is here with us tonight. She's... Thank you. She, uh, she's not sitting on the dais. She is sitting out there with all those losers that are only millionaires. You know, it's like pull yourself up by your bootstraps, right, Chuck? Right. Yeah. Today is a special day. Today, my wife Jeannie and I are celebrating our 21st wedding anniversary. Thank you, thank you. We're not, that's a lie. But being on a dais filled with politicians, journalists, and business people, I felt obligated to tell a lie. You know, I didn't want them to feel out of place. A fair point, considering the room he's in. Fight! 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 We got time, come on! Hey, we are in the fight for the soul of our nation. We are in a fight for our kids and our grandkids, a fight that we can never imagine. I believe wholeheartedly Donald Trump and Butler County's J.D. Vance are the last chance to save our country politically. I'm afraid if we lose this one, it's going to take a civil war to save the country, and it will be saved. It's the greatest experiment in the history of mankind. And if we come down to a civil war, I'm glad we got people like uh, Schmidt and the Bikers for Trump on our side. This type of rhetoric from Republicans do not help the cause for peace and instead fan the flames of chaos because at the end of the day, that is what they desire. We are 19 days until the election and likely a civil war. <laughs> And if we can, let's play back this clip and show Donald Trump's reaction. We are 19 days until the election and likely a civil war. <laughs> and that response, ladies and gentlemen, is quite telling. It is of a man who is content with what Gaffigan just said in his joke. It is chilling to watch. Sure that all those things we need to do, child care, elder care, making sure that we continue to strengthen our health care system, making sure that we're able to make every single solitary person eligible for what I've been able to do with the uh, with, with, with the COVID, excuse me, with um, dealing with everything we have to do with, uh, look, if we finally beat Medicare. Remember this? This, of course, is a Catholic event honoring Governor Al Smith, who in 1928 was the first Catholic to run on a major party. To put that in perspective, in 1928, Chuck Schumer was a first-term senator. <laughs> Thanks for sitting here, Chuck. Of course, Joe Biden was our second Catholic president, right? After JFK, President Biden couldn't be here tonight. The DNC made sure of that. Uh. Oh. oh, that's... 
I guess I'm the only one that reads history. Gaffigan sure as hell does not. In genere, si dice che non votare è brutto. Non è buono. Si deve votare. E si deve scegliere il male minore. Chi è il male minore? Quella signora o quel signore? Non so. Ognuno in coscienza pensa. Gaffigan would have fun with this moment from the Pope as well. Full disclosure, Cardinal Dolan is also a friend of mine, and I would never put him on the spot, but Cardinal Dolan, I'm, I'm curious. The Pope did say that this election is a choice between the lesser of two evils. And so, two-part question. One, do you agree? And two, who's more evil? All right, I'll, get, I'll come back to you. Might want to, because his lips are sealed. He's poured an additional $75 million into his pro-Trump super PAC. And at a campaign town hall in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, Saturday, Musk pledged to give away $1 million to voters who signed his super PAC online petition in battleground states. He pledged to give this every day $1 million away until Election Day. I have a surprise for you. Uh, which is that uh, we are going to be awarding a million dollars to uh, randomly to people who have signed the signed the petition every day from now until the election. To be eligible for the one million dollars, petition signers must be registered to vote and live in Arizona, Georgia, Michigan, Nevada, North Carolina, Pennsylvania, or Wisconsin. Many say this is illegal. It likely is, but it also goes to show you the length billionaires will go to corrupt our politics. I mean this in all sincerity. The money that we've raised tonight is significant and will have a positive impact. You know? And after we pressure Mike Bloomberg to give more money, we will break $10 million. $10 million. Everyone look at Michael Bloomberg and tell him he should give more money. $10 million is, is pretty impressive, you know what I mean? I mean, granted, it could get you a studio apartment in Manhattan, which seems, you know, expensive, especially considering you can get a mayor for two business class flights. Oh, is, is, oh, is, did I break a, I didn't think we had borders anymore. Honestly, love that the room hated it. I do. I'm sorry the comedian is reminding you all of our reality here. Yeah, the only thing I worry about, he doesn't speak English. I want to see him sit down and talk. Uh, one thing about David Beckham, he learned to speak English uh, for us, only uh, with an accent. You know who Fox News dunce Brian Kilmeade was speaking of during this rant on the network? The great Lionel Messi, when he came to enter Miami. In turn, Kilmeade would also catch a stray. This day is... Actually, let's be honest, this entire room is filled with some of the most powerful people in New York City and Brian Kilmeade. Well done here all around. Hey, I appreciate you watching. Now, if you can, please do become a channel member by going to youtube.com slash TYT sports and clicking the join button. If that's too much for you, you can just go to tyt.com slash join to become a member. It helps all of us out here at the Young Turks and keeps our network afloat. In addition, you could follow me on my socials on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Appreciate the love. Have a great day.